Soil is a natural resource that is a product of the interaction of several factors, such as parent material, time, climate, plants and animals, and the degree of slope. Soil is made up of both organic and inorganic materials. The organic materials are plants and animals that are or were once alive, and inorganic materials are mainly rocks and mineral particles. This student wanted to identify the components of soil and therefore conducted the sedimentation method of examining soils. Some soil from the school garden was placed into a large cylinder to which he added some water and observed. The components of the soil settled out into different layers. This was due to size and weight of the soil particles. Can you see the components of the soil? They are humus, clay, silt, sand, and gravel. Clay, silt, sand, and gravel are inorganic, whereas the humus is organic. Humus is a dark, sticky organic material formed from the decay of various organisms. Humus is rich in nutrients that plants need. It also holds water in the soil. Soil also contains air, water, and dissolved minerals. There are three main types of soil. Sand, clay, and loam. Do you know some of the properties of the different types of soil? Sandy soil has mostly large particles and large air spaces. Therefore, a lot of air is present. Clay soil has mostly small particles, small air spaces, and therefore little air is present. Loam is a mixture of clay and sand particles. Therefore, the air spaces are intermediate in size. Another property is that of the ability of the soil to drain or retain water. This may be tested in the lab. Collect samples of the three soil types. Collect three filter funnels and place a folded filter paper into the neck of each. Measure equal volumes of sand, loam, and clay soil. Place a soil sample into each filter paper and rest the filter funnel into the neck of a measuring cylinder. Into each soil sample, gently pour each volume of water. Then, record the volume of water that drained through. To find out the amount of water that was retained, simply subtract the volume of water added to the soil from the amount of water that drained through. For example, if you poured 100 cm cubes of water into the soil and it drained 60 cm cubes, then the amount it retained would be 100 minus 60 equaling 40 cm cubed. Since soil contains these different components, it would provide plants with nutrients, air, and water for growth. Let's review. The different methods used to establish the number of individuals within a population or community and 
how to choose appropriate methods for obtaining population numbers. Sampling may either be random or systematic. From the samples collected, one is able to estimate the number of organisms within a given area of ground or volume of water. This is the species distribution. Species distribution involves the species density and species frequency. Samples may be obtained by using quadrats, nets, bottles, and transects. Terrestrial and aquatic environments will have certain features in common, namely air, animals, plants, and a specific soil type. Air comprises oxygen, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen, which are gases that are used by both plants and animals on a daily basis. To identify the components of soil, and therefore conducted the sedimentation method of examining soils. They are humus, clay, silt, sand, and gravel. Clay, silt, sand, and gravel are inorganic, whereas the humus is organic.